Good afternoon everyone, this is Christy with Van Allen & Company. It's Monday, October 24th. I'm gonna go over the markets with you. Started off with some strength, especially here in the soybean market, as you got a little bit of attention towards Malaysian palm oil. And so it's really more of a byproduct story than it is actually a soybean story here. There is a shortage in palm oil, and because of that, you've had increased demand here for uh, soybean oil. And so that is really driving force here behind some of this uh, strength you've seen in soybeans. Now, USDA definitely has plenty of demand plugged into this market for the time being. And so you need to continue to see this be an issue before it's really actually a huge story here into this market. Up 17 cents at one point, faded to only up two, came back, closed nine cents higher on the day. Uh, not the same situation here into corn and wheat market. Corn closing down almost five cents on the day. Uh, and then the wheat market, four and three quarters lower on Minneapolis wheat, nine lower on Kansas City and Chicago wheat down 12 cents. So quite a bit of pressure there as yields continue to come in strong for corn. Uh, other than that, there's not a whole lot of fundamental news behind these markets. One thing to note is managed money did buy over 60,000 contracts of corn from Wednesday to Wednesday last week. And what that tells you is usually when you see those, you see big pushes in these markets, either top side or downside when they're buying or selling. They have bought at the right time that they have not drove the market up here. And what that is doing is that you are just finding their buying being offset with farmer selling most likely. And so we haven't seen movement there, but it is something to note here that they are well off their lows now, uh, almost 180,000 contracts short at one point, now looking like only about 65,000 contracts short as of last Wednesday. Into the meat markets had a friendly cattle on feed last Friday, so you saw support come through. Live cattle up 250, feeders up 282 and a half, lean hogs up a buck 35 there. Then the outside market's very quiet today as you're really just not finding a whole lot of news up there. Looks like you're kind of at a stall out point on both crude and um, the US dollar that you need the market to really push it one direction or another, otherwise it's a little bit stuck here in range trade. Moving forward, what we'll see is planting or harvesting progress here this afternoon, and then we'll know more about export sales to see how much this market is really keeping pace with these big sales that we've had lately. I do have to close with the disclaimer, trading in futures and options involves risk of loss may not be suitable for all producers. Have a great day.